What are we doing today, Nick? We're gonna build a big butt. Yeah, big butt, yeah! going to build the center pins we got to lay them down thread them for the new big bud tractor how much do you think that thing weighs it's it's quite a bit they're uh, five inch pins i say that's pushing 100 pounds 100 pounds let's see the fingers are mashed yeah it's got yeah, some weight to it i'd say that's, that's probably between 70 and 100 pounds not only is there just two but there's three pins you gotta make three of them and like Good. i said we got to thread the bottom of it to a three inch nut, that's massive. Which means I get to play with a lathe, which is my favorite tool in the shop, to be honest. I love this thing, Nick knows it. And we also have to lay it down so it can fit these center bushings. So now, the brand new Series 5 Big Bud, the very first one ever made. Part of it is being machined here on the farm. Now we don't have the other one, they're gonna get it shipped to us shortly. And that other one's bigger, and it goes for this sucker right here. Oh, I got a lot to go. You want to see how much we have to go? That's nuts. Somehow you got that to fit in here. Yeah, there's a lot of machining to do. So what do you guys think? Should we start getting busy and uh, turning down some steel? We're going to have a lot of filings. Now, before we do this, Nick, I think we should weigh each piece and see how much they weigh. Okay. And then, after we're done... Off. That's, we should see how much we took off on each one of them. We could do that. So I went over to the house and uh, grabbed my scale. And yes, it supports me, so it should support these things. Oh, you didn't zero it out. Turn He's got to take it off. Push it, let it zero it out. 63.5. Wow. And this bad boy. 87. 87 pounds. 75 Whoa, pounds. 75 pounds. So what I got to do is they gave me a chart with all the different dimensions and the specs to lay them down. Now, luckily for me, I've got the nut so I can keep threading in it and, and put the nut on and make sure it fits. And then I also have the bushing so I can cut it down and get the bushing to fit. So anyways, my job today is to discover what's underneath all of that. Let's tilt this down into that. try make sure that it's pretty centered I got it pretty close but there's still a little bit of a variance on how centered it is but the thing is I'm taking so much off it really doesn't matter about getting it perfectly centered. It's a little bit off. I might tweak it just a tiny bit. But then what I got to do is I got to drill a tiny little hole on the end right here and then put a live center, which is actually this bad boy right here. This has actually got a bearing inside of it. And you wedge it in the back. And what that does is that supports the piece of uh, steel or whatever product you're turning down from getting off center. All right. <laughs> Oh, this is so crazy.
making a lot of good progress on this pin. And yes, there is a lot of material to take off this five inch pin. Now, what I gotta do is I got to figure out the measurements from this shoulder here all the way over to start my bushing because I need to neck it down. And then once I cut the bushing, which is right here, this bad boy, yeah, that's a pretty good size one. Then I gotta neck it down again for the threads on the three inch nut. Once I get that all done, then it's time to cut the threads and then I'm done with this pin. It is my job to not screw this up because they're underneath the time frame, And um, yeah, I don't wanna mess it up. There is one problem with this pin. It is one inch short and that wasn't me. It was whoever cut the pin, accidentally cut it a little short. Talking to them, uh, I'm gonna do a little different style on what they asked for on the paper, which is a drawing right here, as you can tell and I'm going to cut it a little differently and they think it's gonna work just fine. So anyways, let's, um, let's remove some material and get ready to thread. That's nerve wracking. You spend quite a few hours trying to turn this bad boy down and you're threading, you got to make multiple passes and uh, you don't want to jack it up. The threads for some reason, and I don't know why, they're just a little choppy, like just a tiny bit. They're not like, they're not bad, but to a machinist, I'm sorry guys. Anyways, this is all that matters. Isn't that awesome? So here's the question. How much did I take off of this thing? Originally, it weighed 63 pounds and five ounces. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I took off a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of shavings. That's, that's a tremendous amount of shavings. Holy criminy. Yeah, okay, um, well, I'm done with one, that's all that matters. Ooh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Now, the nut. I'm pretty, pretty excited. <laughs> First try, nailed it. Uh, let's see. Guess it doesn't really matter which way this nut goes on. Now it's my job to not screw up the other two. Oh, no pressure, right? Bomb diggity! Okay, I'm gonna go get something to eat, and then, um, yeah. I gotta go back over to my house and do a couple things with everybody, but that's cool. This one is probably the biggest piece of steel that I've ever turned down. It uh, took me a long time to turn this bad boy down from five inches to basically three inches here. But 
It is to spec to that diameter, and it is to spec there. And the bushing or slash bearing slides on and off very well. And I got it cut down for the threads on the nut. But that means I got to cut the threads, which is the most crucial part out of this whole process, because if you get it, <laughs> if you get it one little bit of adjustment off, you'll cross thread and then you just jacked up all your threads. So the first one is always the correct one. Now to match that one, you just got to make sure you do a thing called routine. So stay in a routine. Don't let anybody come in the shop and mess with your head because if they mess up the routine, you will mess up the threads. So, and yes, I'm rocking these bad boys. All right, enough talking. Let's cut some threads. You can see how excited I am. is a good feeling. Both of these are done and uh, I got one more to do which is on the floor right there. That's the big bad boy. It's got a big bearing right here that I got to put on it but the nice thing about this one is I don't have to take near the amount of material off. And you're probably wondering how much did I remove from this one? Well it started at like 102.5 pounds and now I'm at like 44.5 or 44 pounds so that's a decent amount of material. Anyways, this is what I'm looking at making, and let's get started. Diggity, got it done. Okay, there's uh, the nut, you can tell, yeah, looks good. Now, take that three inch nut, and let's put this bad boy on. Beautiful, let's find out how much this thing weighs now. So it was 75 pounds roughly. Forty-six pounds. Cool. So it was 75.5, my bad. But now it's 46. Yeah, that should work. Hopefully my measurements aren't off on the diameter they want for this shoulder down here and here and here so we'll find out but I think I think I'm close 
Let's put it that way. I think I'm very close. So, yeah, good. We put that in the books. You guys saw it here. It was built on Welker Farms. Well, guess what? We are driving to Haver, Montana, which is about two hours away, and we're getting closer to Haver. We're gonna drop those pins off and take a look at the new Big Bud. We're pretty jacked about it and excited about it, and we might be able to run into Ron Harm today. We'll see about that. But here's the thing. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to look at it. We'll have to see if we can get permission to film it. And if we can, well, you guys get to see parts of it being built, so. I'll draw you guys a picture. Yeah, it's gonna be a good picture. I'm a good artist. Anyways, we're just about to have her, so hopefully we can show you guys what they're doing. We're pulling up right now, so let's oh, go talk to them and see on. see what uh, what the they end. say. Wow. Fun, fun. Is that cool or what? Look at those things. Yeah, this thing is a behemoth. And this is the very first of its kind. Isn't that cool? So right here is the front half, and this is where the engine and skid, well, the engine transmission radiator is on a skid, and it slides right into this part. So we've got the first half, and then we have the back half over here. And the way that this thing turns and oscillates is pretty incredible. Like, it's, it's a very neat design, but they're just about ready to paint this thing white. It's primed, it's ready to go. He's mixing up the paint right now. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be pretty sweet when they get done. And they got axles sitting outside. It's a massive axles. So, yeah. There's a lot of weight in this thing. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I love it. Uh, I, it's, it's awesome. They did a fantastic job of making this thing. So this pin right here is a center pin. For that bad boy, yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's really cool, actually. You want to see the axles? That's a pretty good size axle. Yeah, bit overkill, but I love it. Anyways, we're gonna go see Ron Harmon if he's available. We don't know if he's around or not, but uh, we're gonna go swing up there and say hello at least. What'd you think, Dad? I think it's going to be well built and uh, a lot of iron. Uh, won't be anemic with all that much iron. Not at all. Look who that is right there, Mr. Ron Harmon. He's the one man show on this place, running everything by himself. Not exactly. No, I've got a lot of help actually. <laughs> he's, Thankfully. He's had a lot of help, yes, and there's no way that he could do it by himself, but that's the neat thing is he brings a lot of people in and expertise, and yeah, you. Well, You've created a legacy that's pretty cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're we're uh, we're proud of the tractors because they've really been rebuildable, and uh, we've been able to manufacture them kind of on a custom basis. It's been fun. Oh yeah, you you've got quite a history of just it's quite a story. Let's put it that way to make these tractors happen. And I'll tell you one thing. We are very thankful for you making that happen because a lot of our success on our farm is because of the Big Bud Tractor. Well, thank so you so much. We, I appreciate that. <laughs> we appreciate it. So, yeah. anyways, very Ron good. Harmon. Thank you. You guys recognize this thing? Yeah, we got one just like that in our house, our, our shop right now. That's cool. And then they got this cool toy. I'm not sure who built this thing, but yeah. My kids would love this thing, I'll tell you right now. They would enjoy playing with it, but nope, not no can do. That's pretty cool though. I like toys. You know that? Do you like toys, Dad? Um, I the whole th operation is a toy. So yeah. basically, yes, it's, it's, he likes toys. We just don't have the sand. <laughs> oh, we, <laughs> we, we got a we got a box, but there's no I got sand a in play it. Box, not a sand <laughs> box. So right here, we have a mastermind and basically the brains behind this tractor. Is that correct? Oh, well, you could say that. He's modest. <laughs> we, he's, uh, he's the one that drew up the plans for me to go off of and making those pins. And they were actually pretty, pretty sick, uh, spectacular. There we go. I can't even say it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you've had your hands on this thing for a while, haven't you? Oh, I started in 75. 75. Yeah. That's that's basically the beginning of Big Bud. Well, we started in 70, somewhere in there, 
would build a hill climber for Ron. Yeah. I was kind of starting doing this kind of stuff. And then he got you hooked into this. Yeah. And he's I've done that ever since I was a kid, you know, building buggies for my dog and everything. So what you're saying is you're kind of a glutton for punishment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, this is pretty neat though. That's what what they got going on here is is quite a quite a neat thing, and it's it's a history. It's part of the history of what the legacy. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. It's legacy that they've got going on. So, yeah. pretty cool that you're doing this. But anyways, yeah, a lot of fun. I hope so. <laughs> appreciate right. it much. Thanks. You bet. Have a Thank great day. You. Well, we appreciate you guys watching what we do here on Welker Farms, and we are very grateful for Big Equipment to give us the opportunity of making these pins for the Series 5 Big Butt. But we had a thought about taking these filings, and there's a lot of filings, and putting them in little jars, and letting you have an opportunity to own a piece of the very first Series 5 Big Butt ever built. Mm -hmm. But what we're thinking about is all the proceeds that we get from these filings, we're gonna give it to an organization called Feed the Hungry. Feed the Hungry is an opportunity to help those around the world to learn how to farm, how to create food for themselves, and give them an opportunity to feed because we think it is such a neat opportunity that here on Welker Farms, we feed thousands of people. And to give this money that we get from this to help those that don't have food that don't know how to farm, to give them that opportunity, we think that'd be really neat. Absolutely. So here at Welker Farms, we wanna just say thank you for watching, and if you want to, we're gonna start putting these little jars, and you might have an opportunity to own the first Series 5 Big Bud. And machined by Leg Arms himself. Well, it's machined by Wel a Welker Farms. And someone might get this one, too. No, 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 that's mine. That's mine, 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 mine. Okay, that's part of the pins. But pretty cool stuff. Yeah. First, first Big Bud and over two decades, three decades almost. Yeah. So it's a first and it's awesome and this could be yours to sit on a shelf somewhere in a nice cool glass container with a cool logo and it's signed by yours truly and him and yeah. maybe dad. So we haven't got the jars yet. We're gonna get them going, but if you guys wanna have a slice and you wanna have a little piece of the Series 5 Big Butt on your shelf machined by Welker Farms, you could uh, buy one. So stay tuned. Yeah, there you go. We'll have them listed soon when it gets done. When it gets done. We'll let you know. Thanks, guys. Later. God bless.